Hi everyone, great morning and welcome to Nosy Rosie. And of course guys, we're back from our previous session or previous video, part 1 of NPS Crash Course. And just like what we did doon sa dati naming video or sa nakaraan naming video, um, we gave scenario on how are you going to handle certain customer na nagre-reklamo, nagko-complain, and at the same time, um, of course, we would like to make sure that we will be able to increase our NPS score. So, what happened there is, ayoko na ikwento, of course, you'll just have to watch that video in order for you na makahabol, ma malaman, at kung ano-ano yung mga pinag-discuss natin doon because those things are important para meron pa kayong makuhang um, additional idea, knowledge, and information. And that will also definitely help you to improve your skills when it comes to increasing your NPS score. Now, with that being said, today guys, we will also do the same. But this time, hindi lang ito para sa mga taong naghahanap ng additional um, additional information on how to increase their NPS score, um, how to improve customer satisfaction, paano mo mapapataas yung CSAT or customer service. Um, and at the same time, ito yung, ito yung video na makakatulong din sa mga tao na naghahanap ng sample map call. Kasi, this particular scenario that I'm going to give to you, eh, ito yung mga possible scenario that you might encounter sa pag-apply mo sa call center. Alright? So, gusto ko kayong tanungin, una, doon sa mga nakapanood ng video namin for the, yung na-submit na namin, or should I say na, na-post namin last week, right? Um, gusto ko kayong tanungin kung how's your NPS ba? Nakatulong ba yung video namin para mas maging maayos yung paghahandle nyo ng NPS or ng, ng customer rather? NPS. Paghahandle nyo ng customer at mapataas yung NPS nyo. Nakatulong ba ito para mapasayan nyo yung mga client or customer na makakausap nyo? And sa mga hindi naman nagkatrabaho pa sa call center guys, I just have some sort of realization na kung ikaw ay customer facing naman, Napaka-importante na mapanood mo tong video. I, I hope marami tayong matutunan. And at the same time, marami rin tayong matulungan para mas maging maganda yung customer service natin. Alright? Now, of course, um, sabi ko nga, kung napalad yung previous video, nag-improve ba the way you communicate with your client, the way you communicate with your customers? Sa tingin nyo ba, napaganda yung experiences, experience nila? So, please, do not hesitate to leave a comment below. And if you have any questions or kung meron kayong scenario na sa tingin nyo medyo mahirap i-handle, um, do not hesitate to um, send us an email as well. Is in nandiyan din sa ibaba yung email namin. And at the same time, we are encouraging you na mag-comment din. Just like what these people have said. Ayan. So, ayan, maraming nag-comment sa atin. So, we really appreciate you guys na nagbibigay sa amin ng, ng mga feedback na yan. Kasi without you, hindi rin naman kami mag-improve. And without you, hindi rin naman kami makakapag- um, isep na kung ano yung mga gusto pa ninyo namin, ni, ano pa yung mga gusto ninyo namin sa lupin. Alright? Bakit pakabulal ngayon? Hindi ko nga alam eh. Hindi pa ako kumakala. <laughs> Alright. So, guys, ibibigyan na namin ngayon yung scenario number 2. Alright. So, scenario number 2. Ang bill ni customer, eh, di niya rin maintindihan. O? So, of course, kapag ka hindi maintindihan ni customer, eh, kahit naman ikaw, and siguro, eh, and I can say that yung mga nanonood nito ay eh, may mga utilities. Diba? So, meron tayong monthly bill. And meron mga point na or may mga time rather na kapag ka na, nakuha mo yung bill mo, bigla ka magugulat, malalaki yung mata mo. Pero huwag kayong matayin, of course. <laughs> so, pagkakuha mo ng bill mo, magugulat ka na lang, malaki yung charges, which is not the usual amount of charge that you're um, expecting. So, pagka ganun yung nangyari, automatically, anong gagawin mo? Ako kasi, um, kung makakakuha ko ng unexpected amount of bill charges sa monthly bill ko, eh, I will call customer service immediately. And nakakatawa naman kasi syempre, every time that you're gonna call them, um, tinutulungan ka naman nila. Alright? So, that's also um, the scenario that we have and the customer is also expecting the same. But, of course, guys, um, napakaganda ng twist ng scenario natin. So, you better watch out. Or not try. Charot lang. <laughs> so, sabi nga niya, um, yung bill hindi niya maintindihan. 
customer is threatening na mag soup call or mag manager call. Um, and at the same time, magpupunta doon siya sa ombudsman. So, pag sinabi natin ombudsman, guys, it's just a quick um, tip or should I say, just a quick overview. Ano ba yung ombudsman? So, sa, sa Australia kasi, meron tinatawag na TIO. Telecommunication, just like NTC. Sa Pilipinas, NTC. Sa Australia, TIO. Tapos, um, pumupunta yung mga customer doon to complain on a certain service. Especially kapag ka... Uh, ito, telecom. So, or certain service or products na nabili nila or ginagamit nila. Um, sa US naman, kapag ka hindi sila satisfied sa isang uh, on a certain service or certain product, BBB, may tinatawag na Better Business Bureau. So, sa atin, National Telecommunication Commission, which is NTC, sa Australia, TIO. And, of course, with that being said, yun yung nangyari doon sa scenario natin. And eh, today, sa video na to, nakakatawa, ang gagawin natin is parang kausap talaga natin si customer. Para mas mabigyan ng mas malinaw na understanding and at the same time, para magkaroon kayo ng idea, better idea, on how a certain call looks like. So, of course guys, um, we would like to make sure na you're gonna be able to get something out of it. So, aside from watching, you better sit back, take note, and absorb. Alright? So, let's begin. Siyempre, kailangan meron tayong headset. Kasi we're gonna be talking with a customer. Ayan. Reality tayo, reality. Ayan yung reality show. Real life scenario. And this is also one of the the calls that I had um, that I had before. Na experience ko talaga siya personally. And by the way, guys, um, with all of these things that we will be discussing all throughout this particular call or mock call or NPS score, kung paano patataasin or paano improve yung customer satisfaction, um, the terminologies that I'm gonna be using will, of course, depending dun sa klase ng account na meron ka or magkakaroon ka. But at the end of the day, what matters is yung the way ko iya handle yung scenario. Or the way ko iya approach at i, i, um, papagandahin yung call. Okay? Alright. Let's begin. This is an ongoing issue for the past couple of months now. I keep on getting a high bill every now and then. Can somebody explain this to me and fix this one? Or else I'm going to bring this to the ombudsman. All right. Um, I heard your frustration about this, Ms. Customer, and as you have mentioned, this is an ongoing situation from the past couple of months. I'm also a customer, and to be frank, I will feel the same way too, especially if my bill charges are not the amount of charges that I'm expecting to have. But don't worry. I will do all my best and exhaust everything that I can do to fix and resolve this. All right? By the way, I hope you're doing great today, even though your bill looks like this. So guys, notice that I've tried to still build rapport, even though the customer is mad. So, hindi ko sinasabi na dinidisregard mo pagiging dissatisfied niya, yung unhap, yung pagiging unhappy, um, yung aggravate, yung, yung pagiging aggravated niya. So, hindi ko dinidisregard yun. However, on some situation like this, you might want to try building a rapport to the customer. Kasi napaka-importante nun. What if si customer sumagot? Diba? At least, nakakonek ka na sa kanya. Um, natanggal mo na yung barrier na bad trip siya. And at the same time, your customer will feel that he or she is talking to a real person. Sabi nga eh, um, customer... Uh, needs to be treated as a human. Alright? So, tuloy natin. And, by the way guys, ha, si customer medyo hindi talaga maganda ang templa. I already gave this to the automated system. Oh, my apology for that one. Um, Because I really need to ask for your name and your date of birth. And I know that you've already provided that to the automated system, but I just need to make sure 
that what has been recognized by your automated system is the correct account. And what I have here in front of me is your account as well. But don't worry, I can assure you that your information are safe and our company handles our customers' information with care. So guys, notice, I didn't say I understand. I say I heard, okay? So if you want to find out why I didn't say I understand, once again, watch our previous video about NPS, okay? Let's move on. All right, my name is Nancy and my date of birth is January 1, 1981. Did you get that? Yes, Nancy, I really appreciate your, I really appreciate that information. Thank you, that's awesome. Well, don't worry, um, I'll just go ahead and check this further. We'll also pull up some of your bills from the past to see the trend of your charges, okay? Of course, guys, after checking the bill and knowing where the charges are coming from, see agent, ready now na mag-provide ng resolution. Guys, do not forget to smile. Si customer kahit na bad trip, smile pa din. And make your customer feel that you're also willing to help. Kasi yung pag-smile, mararamdaman na niya yung willingness to help. Okay? Alright. So, ready na si agent. Alright, Nancy. Upon looking at your bills from the past couple of months, um, I noticed that the plan that you're having has a low monthly charge of $22.90, which is what we call telekunat plan. However, the bulk of your outgoing calls are being charged on top of your current plan. And checking features of your current plan, this call is not included. This should have been explained to me before. What do we need to do? I, I heard that as well, Nancy. But don't worry. Um, I've noticed that since the bulk of your calls are coming from calling outside the city, what I can suggest is, if it is okay with you, we can go ahead and upgrade your plan from $22.95 per month to $30 per month. Upon calculating based on your historical number of calls made outside your city, you're being charged in an average of $30 more and that will be on top of your $22.95 plan. If you will upgrade your plan to $30 per month, this includes calling outside your city, which means it'll give you more savings, which is around $22 per month, but this will change depending on the amount of outside city calls that you will be making. Now, the good news is you can make that call anytime you want because it is already part of your plan. How's does it sound to you? That sounds great. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, that's cool. That's awesome. But of course, um, I can definitely go ahead and change the plan of yours today. I'll just need you to, to stay in the line for the next couple of minutes. I'll get back to you within the next, let's say, three to five minutes. Would that be okay? That's awesome. All right. Um, I'm gonna be placing, placing you in hold now, okay? All right, so guys, um, of course, you know, napapayag na si customer. So you'll just have, of course, to make sure that everything um, will be um, resolved. And at the same time, kapag ka naibigay mo na kay customer kasi yung possible resolution, um, kahit magdagdag yan ng, ng, ng monthly bill, kung naipaliwanag mo sa kanya ng maayos na mas makakatipid siya, Kasi ito yung, ito yung klase ng calls na ginagawa niya. Definitely, customer will agree. Okay? So, katulad niya nung napanood ko sometime, um, ma-share ko lang. Sabi niya, it's all about the value and it's not about the price. So, binigay mo kasi kay customer yung value. Diba? Kesa binigay mo sa kanya yung presyo. Now, of course, before finishing the call, guys, make sure that Customer is also aware with pro rata charges, one month in advance, at lahat yun mag-charge sa bill niya sa next month. Pero pagkatapos nun, um, clear out na yun. Meaning, magiging mas mababa na yung bill niya um, each and every month. As long as, of course, yung gagawin niya na call eh, within that particular plan na in-upgrade niyo. So, once again, guys, it's all about, or it's about customer education. Kasi at the end of the day, customer doesn't know kung anong klase ng plan meron siya. And as an expert, which is ikaw, eh, ikaw yung mag-ano nun, ikaw yung mag-, mag 
tawag dito, ikaw yung magpifix nun para sa customer. All you have to do is, of course, check your previous charges, previous um, bill history, kung paano ba ginagamit ni customer, and of course, understanding what matters to them. So, since nakita nga ni agent na mas madalas tumawag si customer outside the city, so that's the main reason as to why that agent offered a plan na suitable dun sa klase ng call na ginagawa niya. Make sense? Alright. So, of course, um, before natin i-end yung call, guys, meron pang sinabi si agent. Okay? So, once again, Nancy, um, since we have, um, we have already resolved everything for you today, just a quick recap on what we did. We have checked your previous charges, and what we have come up is, of course, you'll just have to provide each and everything that you have given to the customer. And then, do not forget to ask, is there anything else that I can help you with? No, thank you. That's all. All right. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate your time as well, Nancy. And I hope that I was able to answer your questions and resolve your query to your satisfaction for today. Yeah, sure. Thank you. All right. Well, um, Nancy, if you don't mind, I will be asking a few minutes of your time just to answer a short survey after this call. I hope you can stay on the line for me to do the survey. Would that be okay? Thank you. I really appreciate that. And thank you so much for calling Cheese Me's um, Telecom. And you do have a wonderful day. All right? Thank you. So, yon. Ayan. So, just simple as that, guys. Um, and hindi ko naman sinasabi na you're gonna be able to learn everything sa isang gabi lang. It takes, alam mo yun, practice before you will be able to master everything. Sabi nga, di ba, um, practice makes perfect. So, kung hindi mo siya gagawin, hindi mo siya pag-aaralan, then, of course, hindi din tayo mag improve Um, as an agent before, I was able to uh, learn a lot of things when it comes to how to handle certain customers or different customers. Um, and I, I would love to share everything that I that I have acquired for those years working um, as a call center agent and working sa call center industry. I really want to help you kung paano ka mag improve and at the same time kung paano ka ma mata natatanggap. Um, kung paano mo may papasayang mga call mo, um, do not hesitate to send me a message or send us a, um, just place your comments below. But of course guys, before we, before we end this video, we would like to leave five important things to remember. Alright? So of course, to ensure your customer will definitely provide you a promoter score at kung paano mo may papasayang mga call na yan at paano ka magkakaroon ng napakagandang customer service satisfaction score. Number one, do not forget to smile. So guys, wag na wag mong kalimutan. From start to finish, mumiti ka. Kahit bad trip yan si customer, your customer will feel you kahit hindi ganyan nakikita. Believe me, I've been there. At kahit ikaw na nasa phone, nakikipag-usap ka sa isang customer service, you will feel kung nakas, naka, nakaslouch sila, tamad na tamad silang magsalita. Diba? You will definitely feel it. Kahit ikaw, um, na nakikipag-usap sa customer service, eh, what more pa kung ikaw na yung customer service na mag-handle ng customer? So, you better smile. Every time, all the time. Alright? Number two, do not forget to build rapport. So, yung building rapport is building connection with the customer. Sabi nga, breaking the ice. So, let your customer feel that they are talking to a human. So, golden rule, guys, di ba? Um, do, do unto others, do unto unto yun. Kung gusto mong tratuhin ka ng ganun, di, ganun din yung gawin mong pagkatrato sa mga customer mo. Alright? So, yun din yung gusto nila. They wanted to be treated as human and at the same time, um, gusto nila maramdaman na tao din yung kausap nila, hindi AI. <laughs> ba? Diba? Kaya ka nga nandyan eh. Kaya nga tayo nandito as a customer service eh. Alright? So now, number three. Ito yung favorite ko. Be enthusiastic. So, being enthusiastic is, of course, making them feel that you're willing to help. So, kahit na, na naiinis si customer, kahit na dragging yung emotion ni customer, kahit na um, aggravated siya, kahit hindi siya masaya, um, you still need to stay focused and at the same time, of course, enthusiastic. Kasi yung enthusiastic ng, pagka-enthusiastic yung voice mo, yung customer mo, nararamdaman na 
ah, hindi siya affected sa nangyayari sa akin. And guys, please, do not take it personally. Customer is mad or alam mo yun, angry about the product or service na meron sila. Hindi yun sa'yo. Kaya huwag mo yun i-take personally. Alright? Kaya nga napaka-importante na um, you're also physical, emotional, and um, of course, mentally uh, mentally ready kapag ka nagtrabaho ka na sa call center. And we're gonna be having another discussion about that in the future. Okay? So, don't worry. So, number four, um, always check previous conversation, previous contact with the customer. Kung halimbawa nasa billing ka, historical bills, of course, that's important. Um, charges. Kung halimbawa hindi ganito yung campaign nyo or yung account nyo, it's okay. You can still go ahead and check previous contact tapos yung previous notes. And guys, take, um, make sure ha, remember this, kung hindi nyo alam man sasabihin, huwag kayong bigla-bigla magbibigay ng information kay customer. Alright? Huwag kayong magpapapressure sa sa time na hinahandle nyo si customer. Um, again, quantity goes hand-in-hand hand with quality. So, kung hindi nyo alam, sigur, dapat magtanong kayo sa TL nyo, magtanong kayo sa, sa, sa SME, or yun sa mga nag, yung mga floor walkers, So, you really have to ask questions para sigurado na masagot nyo yung mga questions ni customer rather than manghula kayo. Alright? So, take note of that um, important thing with which is the number four. And then, of course, last but not the least or number five, make your customer stay in the line for the survey. So, kung natatandaan nyo, sinabi ko kanina, um, I will be asking a few minutes. So, make your customer stay in the line kasi napaka-importante na mapasurvey nyo sila. Hindi lang yan para sa score nyo, But of course, para yan sa performance ng team nyo, performance ng, ng company. And at the same time, your company will also be able to gauge um, how good or how bad the, the, the service is as well as the product. As well as, of course, the way you treat your customer. Kasi doon tayo kukuha ng, ng coaching point. And at the same time, doon din tayo kukuha ng improvement. Alright? So napaka-importante yung makapag-survey si customer. So, that's it! I hope guys, on this particular video, marami tayong natutunan, marami tayong nakuha. Kung hindi nyo nasulat lahat, you can definitely go ahead and repeat watching this video. And sa mga hindi pa nakapanood and hindi pa nakasubscribe, and if you find this video worthy to be shared, um, remember, sharing is caring and we are all blessed to become a blessing. Do not hesitate to click that bell um, button for the notification. So, um, we would like to thank everyone. God bless, and this is Nosy Rosie once again. Have a great day!